Hello. Hey guys, this is LSD789 with another build video. This is going to be my uh, summon slash minion build in Remnant 2. And let's get right into it. Uh, for the gear I use uh, the full Crimson Guard outfit. Mainly just because it looks cool. Uh, this outfit you can get in uh, Lonesome in the True King uh, DLC. Pretty tough to get but uh, you can look up how to get it, it's, uh, it's pretty fun. It's just for appearance, I, I don't need it, but it's nice. Then for the Dragon Heart, I use the Tranquil Heart, that passively grants you 2 health regen per second and on use doubles all health regen for 15 seconds. And then in the Heart I put um, a Mystic Skill Damage uh, mod for skill damage, then a Mythic Health mod for health, and a mythic damage reduction for damage reduction. And this uh, heart will just regen you constantly. And when you uh, use it, uh, you get double the regen. So it's, yeah, just passive regen is always nice. Uh, this heart is pretty tough to get. You need to uh, do some. Uh, you need to give him Nemo away, some uh, special items, and then in the end you will get this heart. If you if you need to know how to get it, uh, best way is to look it up, I guess. Maybe I'll make a video later. Then for the guns, I use the Chicago Type Rider with the Night Guard uh, mod uh, in it. You don't have this one. This one's also from the True King uh, DLC. But if you don't have this one, you can use uh, either the Space Crabs or you can use the Tentacle, the Root Lash. I think the Root Lash is better than the Crabs, but you, you can choose. Any minion will do, any, any summon will do, but I like the, the Night Guard. Because this summon a uh, night guard to aid in combat. The guard hurls penetrating slashes at a random enemy, dealing six, 66 damage. Uh, the guard will melee enemies if close with the same damage, and they last for 20 seconds. So yeah, they, they're just two swords that uh, throw projectiles and go in melee uh, if enemies go close. Then on it I also have the fetid wounds, that uh, when you uh, Increase the, uh, the crit chance of your weapon by 5% per unique negative status effect on the enemy at max 15. And then at level 10, this weapon range uh, weak spot and range crit hits apply corro corroded, dealing 672 corroded damage over time. And corrosive is uh, an armor debuff for the enemy, so the enemies take more damage. So when an enemy is corroded, even my minions. My, my summons will do more damage if an enemy is corroded. So that's why corroded is really good with a summon build. Then on the weapon, melee weapon, I have the world's edge. This is, um, I think, a hardcore item. You need to finish the uh, game on hardcore um, on veteran difficulty. Uh, and hardcore, you, so you can't die, otherwise your character is deleted. So you need to complete the campaign and uh, on veteran, and then you get this melee weapon. Um, on it I have the Tainted Blade, increases melee damage by 10% per stack of Corroded on the target. Max 5 stacks. And then a charge attack will apply Corroded, dealing 1680 acid damage over time. So you can charge attack this melee weapon, and it will uh, apply Corroded to the enemies. Only way you charge attack with it. So, uh, and Corroded is good for summons again, yeah. And then I have on the... Oh, you can use any weapon you like. Doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't matter. Just choose whatever you like, but I like this one. Then on the handgun, I have the MP60R. Uh, it's the SMG with uh, the familiar um, weapon mod on it. Uh, again, if you don't have this one, this one you get in Lotion if you uh, catch the dream of the hunter, Huntress. If you catch her dream with the. Uh, if you catch her dream with. Uh, let me see with the dream uh, catcher, then you go in a dream world and uh, the reward is getting this familiar. And it will summon a, a fairy familiar to aid you in combat. The familiar selects a random enemy within 10 meters and slashes through them uh, for 110 damage each stack. Uh, familiar will select a new target when the previous uh, one dies, uh, last 15 seconds. So this little uh, bird, he will... Uh, just uh, attack an enemy and he slashes constantly and it uh, does good DPS this uh, familiar. 
Then then on it I have also the twisting wounds. This one is also from Losum. And it increases the range damage of this weapon by 20% to bleeding targets. And then the weapon ranged and weak spot ranged uh, crit hits apply bleeding, dealing 672 bleed damage over 10 seconds. So yeah, this mod will just uh, apply bleed to the enemies. Uh, you do extra damage if the enemy is bleeding. So this one's nice. You can put an, any mod on, but uh, yeah, this one uh, is pretty good. Then for the gear, for the accessories, I have the silver ribbon. This one's again from Losum. Uh, you need to go to the Shattered Gallery uh, in the night. And then you need to find a ribbon in the Shattered Gallery and you put it on. Then you exit the dungeon and come back to the ribbon. And then uh, you get a silver ribbon. Uh, and this one will... And this silver ribbon increases skill damage by 25%. Activating a skill grants haste for 15 seconds. Yeah, this ribbon will always work and uh, I mainly focus on skill damage because my minions and my dog uh, need to... Uh, yeah, those are skills and you get 25% damage, uh, damage on those uh, two skills. And then activating a skill will grant you some haste, uh, which is pretty nice. Then I have a ring called a Shaded Stone. Increases skill damage by 12% and again that's for the minions. Um, and this ring is also from uh, Losum and it's in the mirror room. Yeah, you can find it in there. It's also in the uh, True King DLC. Then I have the Soul Guard uh, ring, which gain a stack of bulwark for each active summon. And in total we're gonna have, I think, five summons active. So we have two flyers, we have one uh, doggy, then you get uh, one night guard and one familiar. Yeah, that's two, three, four, five. So we have five summons on all the time. So you get five stacks of bulwark when all your summons are active. And bulwark is really good because uh, that already gives me 18%. So yeah, bulwark is really good. Then below that, I have the soul shard ring. Increases all damage dealt by 4% for each active summon. Max 12 so yeah, this will not only give skill damage, but also uh, range damage, A any damage is just increased by 12% with this uh, ring equipped. And yeah, we're gonna have 5, five uh, minions out, so that's gonna give us a max 12 stacks. Then below that I have the Soul Link ring. This is a game from the previous game. Uh, the summons uh, life steal 5% of the base damage dealt, which is returned to the wearer's as health. So if your summons do damage, uh, you get 5% of that damage back as health, uh, as life steal. So yeah, this one will keep you alive, this one will keep you alive, this one will do, will do damage, this one will do damage, and this one will do damage. So it's you're pretty defensive, but you also do a lot of damage with this build. Uh, yeah, you can see the talents here, but I will go into it. Then. At the talents, uh, I have fortify at maximum for the defensive uh, traits. Then I have kinship. This is because I have the the handler talent, the uh, prime perk. Uh, it's still useful to have. Then I have regrowth because I have the summoner archetype maximum. Then I have triage. This is from the medic maximum. Vigorous maximum. Uh, Stanima I didn't use. Uh, I have Spirit at maximum for the mod power regeneration. Expertise maximum for the skill cooldown. Then I also have Bark Skin for the damage reduction. Blood Bond for the damage absorption. This one uh, will. Th this one's really good because your minions will take damage uh, in, instead of you taking them. So they will take 10% of the damage you take instead of you taking it. So this one's really good. Then I have uh, 9 points in Rugged. So my summons have 90% more health. And then I have Siphon Max out for the 3% lifesteal. So your summons can also shoot uh, and give you lifesteal. And together with this, that's already 8% lifesteal. So that's really good. Then for the summons, I have the Handler with the healing. Why, why I choose the healing is, uh, this healing can heal my flyers. 
And the dog will also still do damage. Because we have heated traits. Um, gain 30 ranged melee and skill damage. And 5 ranged melee and skill crit chance. While the companion is within 40 meters of the handler. So yeah, this will give you 30% uh, skill damage. And that skill damage is also calculated uh, towards the minion. Uh, this one will grant you 35 increased mod and skill and explosive damage and 5% mod skill and explosive critical chance. And uh, the mod skill damage is still important because we use uh, summons on the guns. So yeah, this one will give you skill damage, this one gives you mod damage and skill damage. So these ones are really good for damage. We'll show you the other sets as well. These are not really important, but we'll show them anyway. Okay, then I will showcase a little bit how it works. So I have my summons here. I can uh, use my yeah. weapon mod. These are the blades you can uh, have, and they do good damage. They stay on pretty long. They shoot projectiles, they go in melee. I like them. In a secret chamber in the Two Kings uh, DLC. Then I have the Familiar. He will uh, attack his target. Not that target. That's what he does. He does two DPS. He stays for a long time. You need while well, I have to come back. So you can keep switching. You don't even have to shoot anything. And uh, when your uh, summons take damage, they want to take damage. Uh, it's mainly just from a minion build, so you don't do a lot of damage, but the minions will do a lot of damage. So when your minions take damage, you can use the skill from the dog. You will heal him, he will heal you. And then if you want to be cool, you can also use a dragon art and it heals the minions even quicker. Get the skill back already. Now I will show you uh, some gameplay of fighting the boss. Hope you guys like the build. If you have any questions, write them in the comments. LFD 789. Out. Hey!
Ha <laughs> ha! 